Hey guys, it's Cal here again, and in front of you, you have, on the left, a Mitsubishi AYC differential, and on the right, a Mitsubishi Super AYC differential from an Evo 8MR. Uh, obviously, one looks very clean, and one does not. That is because the one on the left is from a 17-year-old uh, Mitsubishi Legnum VR4 automatic model, not that the AYC is any different. And on the right, it's obviously brand spanking new. So I'm about to drop the one on the right into my car. Now the one on the left is not from my car, it's from a wreck I bought. But I thought, I don't think anyone's ever provided a view of the differences between these various diffs physically uh, before. So I thought I'd do that for you now and give you guys a little rundown of what's different. So I should probably grab a pointer or something Let's grab a Phillips head. So the first thing I want you to look at, that you might notice, is if we look at the uh, AYC diff, the first thing is the fill hole here for the AYC fluid. So this is the, let me correct, uh, correct myself there, I've heard the term clutch packs or speed gears, either way, these are the AYC gears. This over here is your typical differential oil. This is an open diff on this side, and these are the clutch packs. Separately is a separate system for the oil for the actual AYC actuation mechanism. So note specifically to start with the position of that fill hole, and that one on the AYC diff, and then over here, once I put the tripod down, the AYC fluid is lower and to the left, and the differential fluid is not filled in the same location at all. So let's have a look side by side again. So I did find out where everything goes, specifically uh, for the diff oil. It is filled from here on the front, and you can see that there. Whereas that specific location on the AYC diff is blocked off like a plug. So number one, the oil fill locations are different. I haven't heard anyone tell me that this, so the location of this is a problem in terms of access. I believe it's actually easier access. However, if we get back to the rear, this is a problem. This requires, because the normal position is here, you can see if you look at the casting all right this uh, the fact that this has moved down to the left in this new casting requires that you you have to remove the subframe when you install the SAYC diff and you have to drill out the hole in the subframe that where you can access this bolt through larger so you can access this bolt for when you refill the diff alternatively you could fill this diff up and then put it in the car and then think to yourself, maybe I'll only own the car for 20,000 Ks and not have to worry about it. Personally, I've put a lot of money into my Legnum, so I'll be keeping it and therefore I'll be having to drill out the subframe. Um, everything else is in the same position. So if we look, if I'm pretty, well these are at the same height, so you can probably tell, I'll please get a little bit of more evenness on the image here. You can probably tell that the height of the bleed nipples is the same, not that that's particularly relevant, but that the height of the actual AYC hard lines is the same. It is literally an almost plug and play bolt in aside from that requirement to drill out the whole access hole in the subframe. But there is one more thing. Look carefully at the widths of these. Now, I know you can see that. Um, can you see it actually? Yeah, you can see that. Here, and then let's turn this one around. And I'll see if you can see that as well. You're not quite, let me just move the camera a bit to the right. So, they're not as thick. So, bear with me. I will just get my vernier caliper out. And I'll measure these for you. And my caliper is one of those cheap Chinese knockoffs. Uh, therefore it eats batteries and I have to keep putting the battery in it, so 
I have to leave it with the battery out of it more to the point. Now let's measure this. I'm not sure if you can see that. First mounting hole is 41.49, or probably a little bit less actually, 41.25 millimeters thick. Can you actually see that? You can't see that. <laughs> Let's actually raise the camera a little so that you can. Now you can see that. 41.5. Near enough as damn it. Now over here on the Super AYC diff, and I'll just move the camera again a little. 32.47. So it's about an extra 9 mil. Same roughly width on the rear there. And again on the AYC diff, which I think you can see. Again. 42.23, so it's about 9mm difference each side. So in order to fit one of these to a Legnum <coughs> or to any car with an AYC diff, to replace it you need a 9mm spacer.